Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and in today's video we're going to be looking at a static sliding window. So what we're going to be wanting to do is to count the occurrences of a substring in a string. So the reason why we're going to use a static window method is because we're looking for a specific substring. So here would be an example. Here's a string of D's and A's, and we're going to want to identify a specific mix of characters. So we're going to look for DAD, DAD. So the reason why it would be static is because those specific characters are a specific length. So we're going to iterate through this at a specific length, and then we're going to test to see if that subscript string matches the string. So we're going to start here, increment over, increment over, and mark. So we'd count this, count this, and then count this, and then one at the end. And you might say, well, why in the world wouldn't you just use the count method for string? Well, let me show you the problem with count. All right, it returns the, the number of non-occurring overlapping occurrences of the substring. So count would count, would find this one, and then jump all the way to here and it would miss this dad because it would not look at this last index again it would jump all the way over to here so it would go 0 1 2 then jump to index 3 and continue so that is why and we also want to show that we can create an algorithm to test for a static window so all right let's just go ahead and get into it so if you're new here thanks for joining us this is what we do we do micro videos or certain topics and we're expanding into algorithms now so all right so we're gonna take count and the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna create an index so that then at the end we can display the number of occurrences and at which index so I'll show you what how we're gonna do this so index all right then we're gonna iterate through and we're going to make this a little bit easier on ourselves. We're going to use the range function and the and the length of the string. And I'll show you that. We're going to we're going to use the tools we have to help us. For i in range len of the string. So, the reason why we're doing the len of the string, we're not going to worry about the the cost of doing this. I just want you to get in the habit of thinking uh, about how to do this. We could use other pointers so we wouldn't have to spend time getting the length, but I just want you to understand how we're doing this. Then, we're, then we need to test to see if it is a match. So if string, let me get that out of the way, string index i through index i plus the len of the sub. So all right, let's think about that for a minute. So first of all, let's put this into memory so we can kind of tinker around with this and really see what we're doing. All right, so we have this substring. So to get the first, if we do DAD index zero, of course we get dad. But then it needs to be a length of three. So zero, one, two. Okay, so if I go DAD zero through two. Shoot, I mistyped the right answer. Okay, so remember inclusive exclusive. So I need to increment so I need to go up to index three, DAD index three. So okay. I want to see, show you this. So this is our algorithm. We could hardwire this three or, right in our example, we know it's three or it's the length, it's the length of our substring. So our index, our starting point, this is what I, I love to explain this. Our starting point, if you do the starting point, it's that same, stays consistent through the algorithm. So then this is I same as here plus the length of your sub so this is this is our algorithm right here and then you test to see if it equals sub boom 
So then we're going to index.append, and then we're just going to append i. And then when we get done, let me show you what we're going to do. And I like this. I'm going to type this so I don't make any mistakes here. I think I got this so it'll fit. Oh, no, I don't. All right, so we're going to do an f string, and we're going to use a lot of variables here. So we're going to print out string, what we're looking for, then the length of the index, so how many times did it occur, has blank occurrences of substring at indexes. indexes and it then will print out the list of the places of occurrences so let's just go ahead and do this right here so we're going to test our dad example right here we're going to run this all right so now let's bring this over here ah okay so here's my string this string has four occurrences of dad at indexes 0, 2, 5, and 10. And then we can go ahead and just check one here and one here with a change in count being capitalized. And let's run it one more time. So here we go. We have this example of M and O's and five occurrences at this index, that index, that index, and this index. So I really hope you guys got something out of this and I hope you really liked this video. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're jumping down in the Discord down below, dropping any comments, making any suggestions about videos. But thank you so much. And as always, see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.